Hi Sag, I'm here to do your love reading. This will be your Celtic cross for troubled and um, singles, okay? I also do very two very specific readings as well as tutelary tales, which is more specific collective energy reads with usually very specific stories coming about and we'll start to do some smaller love spreads as well. That said, let's cut these, okay? They're all pre-shuffled. Bottom of the deck, it's two of swords. You guys are at a crossroads about something in your love life here. Nine of cups. Wish fulfillment on your light, on your mind, okay? About something or someone in your love life, okay? Or some of you may be in a period of, of libations, okay? We'll see. <laughs> see how it plays out. What's crossing my satch? The hangman, okay? Piscean energy, also like sacrificing yourself to a higher state of being or grace for like some sort of realization, okay? Meditative state, okay? Eventually you do fall out of that state. Maybe you're in that state right now and feel like you can't get out of it or you just feel stuck a little bit, like unable to move. For some of you it could be over something, okay? What's in the heart? And the heart is the six of swords, okay? Either you went away or you're thinking of going away. That's on your mind for towards greater stability. Yeah, queen of swords just popped out with that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. Okay, I'm gonna keep it right here. What's in the recent past, okay? You may have had to make some cuts. You may have had to do it assertively in the past towards greater stability in your love life. Take it as it resonates, okay? For some of you, you may have had to take steps away from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody with predominant access or stellum, um, sun, moon, rising placements in their chart, okay? For others of you, you had to step into this Queen of Swords-like energy when you made this Six of um, Swords move or one you're contemplating now that's in your heart to make, okay? What is in the recent past for my Sagittarius? King of Wands, okay? This shows you in your full power in the recent past. King of Wands, okay? Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, energy, and the lovers, a choice, and love. Okay? Came out with it. You are popping like crazy. What is crowning my Sagittarius? Some of you may have had to make a choice between two or more people in the recent past, okay? Some of you just had to make a choice towards greater stability, or you may have come across somebody that you felt significantly tied to in the recent past that you felt was a soul tie. Yeah, and on your mind in, um, on your mind is a tower, okay? A breaking down of a structure, one that was not built on um, sound foundation, one that was built on sand, okay? That's either already happened with the Six of Wands or you're making the moves to make that happen now, okay? Because the foundation was not built on um, solid foundation, okay? Um, all right, what's in the near future for my Sag? Ace of Swords, truth in the near future. Either you're going to be bringing that truth or making some cuts, okay, in the near future, okay, towards greater stability in your love life, speaking some truths, okay, about whatever to somebody in the near future here. It's, it's, it's coming. It's coming. All right, what is, um, what is my Sag exuding in their environment currently? King of Swords. Wow, we have a King and a Queen of Swords now. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Many of you that are watching this reading may have significant placements of those, okay? But you're exuding a uh, King of Swords. Tells the truth, you know, and the upright is very forthright individual, you know, and sometimes you do need to, King of Swords is not exactly cuddly, but, you know, to make cuts where they need to be made, you, you know, stepping into a King of Swords like energy is very necessary, okay? That's what you're exuding in your environment right now. You're not willing to take any shit, okay? That's good, Sagittarius. Okay, you have a big heart to protect, okay? Um, what is in the external environment that my Sag may or may not be aware of? Okay. Knight of Wands, somebody wants to race quickly towards you or you want to make race quickly towards somebody else and spearhead something in the love department. Maybe feeling very passionate, okay? All right, towards someone or someone is towards you, okay? What is in the hopes and fears for my Sagittarius? Death transformation okay transformation is a hope and a fear okay death card also scorpionic energy if you guys have um scorpio sag cuspers on any of your significant placements this is you showing up here okay you're ready to transform okay it's a hope and a fear okay that's a normal hope and fear around the death card 
okay? And the Hermit is in your likely outcome. Virgo energy, if you have those strongly placed in your chart on access lines, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Stellum, it's here in the likely outcome. This is also a period of introspection. Holds the star of Aquarius, okay? Um, has gone in to seek greater wisdom, all right? Nine of Wands, here you are, mutable fire energy at the bottom of the deck. Wounded warrior, but willing to fight another day. Eight of Pentacles and strength. Yeah, and the King of Cups and the Seven of Cups is behind that. So significant deep feelings possibly for somebody here, okay? Um, or about this ending, this tower, we'll see. We'll see here, Sag, okay? Um, what is what is this um, Nine of Cups here for my Sagittarius? That's also Piscean energy, the Hierophant. The Hierophant's popping up on all these. A lot of people are highly affected right now by the uh, by Venus and Uranus in, in Taurus, okay? That's why I feel like Taurus is popping up on a lot of these loved and troubled readings right now, okay? I have the Nine of Cups here with the Hierophant, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Either you're feeling discontent about being independent or you want independence from a significant commitment or you want independence so you can seek another relationship with somebody you have feelings for. It's going to play out differently for all of you, but it's showing up here, okay? And, you know, it's like this thing um, between commitment and independence here, this four of cups of not knowing what you want here, okay? Feeling of discontent, not taking on the cups on offer around you that you feel are significant, ace of cups, divine gifts on offer, okay? Um, hangman, why is it here? You're like stuck in a state of ten of swords about an ending. Yeah, and the Emperor could be with an Aries, okay, and the Seven of Cups options. Maybe you felt like you didn't take your options, or you're feeling like the need to control your options about an ending here. Seven of Cups. Hey, man, you're stuck in a state of grace, okay, or a state of higher being over some cuts and endings that you made. May have been very, very quickly and may have been made in a very controlling way to end some options or open up options for you. Take it as it resonates, or somebody did that around you. Sagittarius, okay? Um, tell me about this Six of Swords and this Queen of Swords here at the bottom. Princess of Swords, the King of Wands, there you are, and the Ace of Swords. Some truth here came about that's on your heart space right now or, or some move that you want to make, okay? And for some of you, it could be about somebody that you're watching over, Princess of Swords, okay? Somebody that you feel very passionate about that makes you feel in your full king of wands like power that you want to bring truth to, you want to go towards, or you or you left. Pop on me with that. Pop a whole bunch of cards, yeah. <laughs> You're like, ah! I can't take all those, okay? But I will look at them. The queen of wands is here with the chariot and the strength and the star, Aquarian energy. This is somebody you feel matched to. For some of you, it is, okay? Okay, um, tell me about this King of Wands and the Lovers here and the recent past for my Sagittarius. Two of Swords, you're stuck. Here's that King of Swords again. You're at a crossroads about juggling or a decision you had to make in love here in the recent past. And some of you may have been juggling two or more options. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, King of Swords and the Lovers. Okay. For some of you, you know, there may have been a choice that you made um, between two masculine energies here that you felt torn between a king of swords and a king of wands. Or, you, or if it's you, you just felt torn between your passionate side and your realistic um, sharp side, okay, about making a rational decision here in the recent past. You felt at a crossroads over that. I brought you a tower. This was on your mind now. Is a tower or like you felt like you didn't make the right decision. This is like all over everybody's read right now. The Queen of Swords, yep, yeah. The Eight of Cups, about a walk away and heartbreak. That's what I just said. Three of Swords, King of Cups, Eight of Cups, Queen of Swords. I feel like for some of you, um, you walked away from something that brought you heartbreak, okay? And now you're facing, you're like in this tower moment or you know there's going to be a tower created if you what? If you Ace of Swords and chase what you want. Holy shit, these are heavy, heavy, heavy love readings right now. <laughs> like struck everything at the at the stroke of midnight here with everybody okay a lot of this has to do with a lot of placements that are like being set off by uranus and taurus okay jupiter's also in um in aries which is trining your sun or your moon or your rising whatever you're choosing to watch for right now are major access points that you're checking here oh okay ace of swords 
the fool yeah you want to make a fool's leap towards somebody princess of cups somebody you really really admire it's a really heavy burden keeping this like truth inside about somebody that you want to make a fool's leap towards could be an aries or an aquarius doesn't have to be princess of cups is here somebody you really crush hard on but have deep feelings for you. you want to bring some truth to it's a very heavy burden ten of wands give me this king of swords here in the um, current environment Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Ace of Cups, and the Justice. Yeah, you want to um, step on the wheel here towards some sort of Ace of Cups, okay? Okay, Divine Love Offer, Divine Creativity on Offer here, okay? You want to bring justice to a situation. You feel like you're going to have to be in the uh, King of Swords to do so, and you, and you will have to be in the King of Swords to do so, okay? Um, but you will be able to step on the wheel. And, and you will have an Ace of Cups, okay? Whether that's in love with someone else or um, just stepping into full creative mode on your own, there is, that is on offer and it will be bringing you justice, okay? But you are going to have to be direct in making cuts and changes here, King of Swords down here, okay? Because of whatever happened over here, okay? Um, Knight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles, something you want to work on hard. And here's this Piscean energy again. The High Priestess may be secret and a King of Pentacles. May also involve Virgo, Virgo Capricorn, Taurus, and or somebody with Pisces placements, okay? Part of that could be a secretive, okay? Or there could be somebody with those placements that is very intuitive, okay? A high Priestess, all right? May have Virgo in their chart. I have it here with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? And the King of Pentacles, okay? Um, what is this death here? Scorpionic energy, the hopes and the fears, Queen of Wands, Princess of Wands, and the King of Cups. Wow. Wow. Um, for those of you that are on the cusp here, it just shows it like you have a, a deep fear of like being very emotional, okay? And Sag can have that happen sometimes. So it's a very passionate explorer, okay? But when it comes to deep emotions, you have a huge heart underneath that passion, Sag. Okay, huge. Right? And, um, and, and or you guys are a little bit scared of, of, of a Queen of Wands here. Okay, and news that may come about from this death or transformation that you want to do. Okay, for some of you, maybe linking up with a fire sign. Okay, and or have scorpionic Piscean energy in your chart or Cancer. Okay, but multiple parties showing up here. There's been some cuts. There's been some heartbreak. There's like unsound foundations or a decision here made in the past or a decision on your mind now about a walk away, dealing with discontent. Take it as it resonates. This is like all over everybody's charts. Not the same way or with the same people, but it's just all over these troubled and single charts right now, okay? Um, this hermit. Give me this hermit. Seven of Wands. Something you're willing to defend, okay? Queen of Cups. All right. Five of Swords. Here you're going to, you know, you may have to go in hermit mode here and be defensive, okay? To avoid um, scrappy arguments to protect your love life. Here in the future on what you want for a little while take it as it resonates okay um let's pull some of these and then i'm gonna use a different deck to pull some final advice for you sagittarius denial repressed emotions rejection unable to see below the surface outcome results conclusion ending you will get a resolution an unawakened, unaware, 3D, ego, darkness, your twin flame is not ready yet. Okay. Can't make anybody be ready, but you can take care of yourself. And you do need to take care of yourself here, Sagittarius. See that. Okay. Give me one more. Separation, no contact, 5D, dreams, nightmares, focus on your own happiness. You may be in separation from somebody you care significantly about right now. You really can't control other people. Okay, Sagittarius, but you do need to protect your own heart and make moves and be assertive where you need to be to protect your heart and your passions, right? And I see you doing that here, okay? I see that there might be some tower moments and there's some unsettling shit and there's some heartbreak. I see you dealing fine with it. I see good outcome here in the future for you, okay? And I, I, over here as well, okay? So stick with whatever you're doing and, you know, protect your own self, you know? You can't control other people. Okay, give me um, some advice. The world, yeah, start a new chapter. The world, new chapter, new cycle beginning, okay? Embrace it. Embrace it. It's, it's, it's here to take you to higher places. King of Cups. 
Don't be afraid of your emotions or of somebody that comes to you representing the King of Cups, okay? Some of you may be ending something, all right? There may be a lot of deep emotions behind that ending, okay? But you feel guided towards it, okay? Yeah, Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're going to have to um, do this ending and avoid staying up in your head about this ending. It's hard right now, okay? I understand. I understand. Give me some more on this nine of swords. I would avoid, um, for some of you, you guys just need to, you know, watch the drinking. If you're, if you're really having a, a hard, troubling time right now. Okay. I see a lot of anxiety here. Yeah, you're popped on me like crazy. You will have your justice. Justice just popped out. Libra and energy and six of pentacles, proper give and take. In your future okay and you need to offer that too for the people that you're dealing with offer good give and take okay balance the scales here there's a need to balance the scales there's been an improper balance in the scales there's a need to balance the scales okay justice six of pentacles give and take king of pentacles again Virgo, Capricorn, Taurian energy. There's a need to balance the scales with somebody representative of those energies in the Hermit. The Virgo popped up at the bottom here. You guys take that as it resonates. If it applies to you in your own chart, you know it. Okay. Um, I love you guys and I'll see you later. Thank you for being here with me, Sagittarius. I'll see you in your other reads.